Hello everybody and welcome back to TCS Something Insights, episode 2 of the EU last edition. Uh, this week I have three more amazing guests, we're going to be delving into this week's TCS news. First week of games was up, a lot of drama been going on in the community. But first, of course, we've got to get to know my guests, so if you would all introduce yourself please. Yeah, hello, my name is Sophus, my in-game name is Sands, and I play in the Plat League <coughs> for the team called Dirt Tier Gaming, and we lost this week. Yay. Okay. I'm, I'm Jesper, in-game name Masquerade, playing in the Platinum Tier League for a team called Team Neon Blaze. And uh, we faced up, uh, faced up versus Tempered Chickens, the diamond team in our league, so that went... We lost. We did as well as we could. Mm. I, I actually shoutcasted that game, so check my channel if you want to see that, those two games. They're actually fairly good. <laughs> well, I guess it's my turn now. Hi, I'm Gally the Unicorn, also known as just Gally. Uh, we did not play a game this week. Kinda. Yeah, because things are messed <clears throat> up, and I'm the AD carry for panty dropping pentas. High five, Gaffer, you're a top laner. Virtual high five, dude. And as always, I'm your host, Gaffer Cake. Let's get into this week's news. First thing I want to cover, right? Some of you might not know this. New Summoners Rift is out on Team Builder. That's it's not the biggest news of the week, but it's definitely the one the ones closest to my heart. New Summoners Rift. It looks amazing. I played it once, which was admittedly at half three this morning. Probably should have been like you know getting sleep for school or something, but it's Where's what do, are, have <clears> any <throat> have any of you had a chance to play on it yet? I, I know I um, Snapchat yes. Gally this morning saying haha played on the new Summoners Rift as he was still in bed. I have I have played it and it looks pretty fucking cool to be honest. Mm. And it, it actually yeah. it looks really cool. I mean the best thing is a lot of people have been complaining about how it looks bad and when you zoom in and whatnot and that, that is true. But then again. You won't play with your camera full on zoomed <clears> in, so um, it, it's <clears> fine. From a distance, it looks really fucking good. Mm. Sans, what about you, man? Uh, yeah, I managed to play in like 10 minutes, got first blood, and then my computer just failed and because it was on my <clears> laptop. But it it looks neat. Uh, I played it on the like worst uh, resolution and such, so I, I'm not sure about how pretty I am. Needed this, but it looks pretty good. Mm. And a mask. What about you? Yeah. Myself, uh, I've had kind of a day off today, so I've spammed a couple of uh, team builder games, played a bit in the jungle. Uh, you know, the camp, the new camps out, the models at least. You know, they look quite fantastic according to me. And one thing I noticed actually is um, I don't know about Baron yet, but Dragon has already received its AOE attack. So it's not only visual yeah. on Dragon. Because Dragon attacks with the new AV and it knocks you off when you start it. So, I like the I like the map so far. I love Dot style. I know some people try like, oh, Dota to cl clone, play both games quite with myself. I don't think it's too similar. So, I just I generally think it looks nice. Person. If it looks if it looks similar to Dota, then I don't really care. If it looks nice, uh, it looks nice. I do like the change yeah. that they've made, where like you can't leave spawns for the first 15 seconds. I do think that's a pretty decent change. But that it's hasn't hit it yet. It has. Yes, it has. Isn't it's it just like yeah. the first four seconds? No, no it's 15. 15. Like 15. And then you, you get a speed boost for 12. Um, my, my computer is just bad then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, um, I think next wave is custom games. So I don't know if the rules will let us of TCS, but soon we might, might be able to play our TCS games on uh, the new Summer's Rift. Yeah. But the question is, do we jumpers? want to? That's a very good question, because I know mm. in my game last night, I don't know whether it was me being tired or me looking at the scenery, I got really bad CS. And it might have just been because that top lane, you can like look over the little ridge, and it's just like a massive canyon, yeah. and there's a dragon flying, and it's just like... It's really <clears> awesome. cool. I mean, I, I probably it's like, you know, top lane's an island, nobody cares about top lane, so we might as well give the guys something to entertain themselves with. <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah, just yeah. give them a cool <laughs> scenery. And just, I mean, yeah. my yeah. Uh, my lane is always dead because I'm killing them with Nah. I've got to have something to look at. Wait, that's don't mention the times you lost. Just say you win. <laughs> I, I win every time on Nah. <clears throat> um, right. Speaking of winning and losing, 
week one results. So personally, me and Gali, of course, being on the same team, what actually happened with us is that I think <clears> almost 40% of games entered this way in a forfeit by one or two of the teams because they just didn't set their availability. So we did and the other team didn't, and that ended up in us winning, I think, <clears> which was really weird. But then we actually did play like one game against the team. Um, which resulted in us stomping <clears> them, and then me BMing quite hard, saying, should we even bother playing the second game? <laughs> wow, that's evil. Well, thing is, they didn't play the second game either, so... No, we didn't play the second game. <laughs> uh, so yeah. we just played to give Gaffer a reason to BM them. Yeah, pretty much. But no, uh, both your games are uh, Team Neon Blaze, I know, from their games. You you, you did lose pretty hard, not gonna <laughs> lie. Uh, but you did pick up 0 0.5 points from it because of the rules, so... To be, to be fair, we almost got uh, DQ. We could have gone DQ'd as well, because, like, I checked into a subreddit at, like, 12 o'clock last Friday, uh, like, lunchtime. I was like, what the fuck is this post? And, like, I'm not gonna complain, like, Niven has done really well with the European part, I have to say, but like, it was like one day old post. You'll have to have put in your uh, schedule and availability at like at least the Friday morning, what was it? Oh, oh like yeah. midnight or something like, I was like, what the fuck? So I'm so, like, it's better now, of course, now we know, but I was like, so I had, I would have had a day at max to talk up with my team to, to see the post, get everyone on my team together and say, okay, when can we play? So I, I, had, I had to rush that shit after it was supposed to be in and then I had to speak to um, the other team like uh, Tempered Chickens, I got in touch with them and got yeah. through via that. Like, if I wouldn't have talked with them, I don't think we would have played at all. It depends, uh, how, it depends how benevolent Niven is, but I don't know. Well, this week is, you know, just everyone sets up their own matches sort of thing. Which I think is definitely going to be a better system. Because I think what's going to happen <clears> is they're going to set up their games and then they're going to say to, like, shoutcasters like myself, like Ampson over in NA, they're going to say, hey, shoutcast my match. And we're going to be like, this is such a fucked up <laughs> time. Why, why are you taking me? <laughs> this is 4 a.m. in the morning. And then it's just like, yeah, but can you shoutcast it? And you're just like, fuck. Speaking of which, I have to shoutcast the match later tonight. Because I sent it, got sent to them for others. That's mm. fun. But well, no, yeah, I was going to say, um, Sans, what about you? Uh, our games was a little weird because we 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 came across <laughs> some of the rules and began like we didn't know what to do because nobody like the the rules weren't that clear for us because it was like in a gray zone. Because our our jungler had ping on 1,000 from the start of the game, but we decided to we we decided to pause it at 1:30 or something because it it didn't go down mm. at all, mm. and we then it's been paused in like 15 minutes and it still hasn't been uh, there wasn't like a anything happened like he, re he reconnected but like he still had the ping problems and such and then the Oppenheim team came across like something about game of record and saying that we can ac actually only have 10 minutes pause if, it, if it's be become a game of record and because they stood in the river and like while we are, we're discussing they just stood there and then it must have become a game of record so and like we didn't have a mod and we didn't know what to do so we were just like okay we just play it 4v5 and of course we lost and went on tilt and lost again not that they didn't play bad but it was a little unfortunate and we we, we sent it and said it and they like the, the admin said that they, they would look at it but I'm not sure what what's happening right now if the con what the conclusion was, so it's it's still in the dark. It's just one of the games that has to be played and uh, played, and then you can find out how to m not get in those games again. Yeah, definitely. because it it was frustrating because we we didn't know what to do, 
and they didn't know what to do, and it was just but messy. I think season zero is like a learning time for all of us. Yeah, um, yeah. Season zero, <clears throat> I think, is um, definitely a learning time for both the players and uh, definitely the mods. Like, yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah. I, I want to make this clear. I'm not going to be hating on the mods. No, I'm going to yeah. be like, but they they've done an amazing job. Like I appreciate them a lot. But they, as I am charging Con Effect said in his most recent post, they're not going to be perfect. They're brand new to this, just as we are, right? And that's actually what I want to lead on to. The Ohana means family gaming incident. Um, what do you think we can take from this experience? Actually, we were talking a bit about it to make sure we're all familiar with the incident. Um, Mask and Sans, you two don't seem to be too familiar with the incident. Do you actually know what went on, or...? Like, I, 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 I get it a little bit, yeah. Mm. Go ahead. Right, um, I'm going to lay, lay down basically what exactly what happened, because personally I know Timatheus, Ohana Me Family, Gaming's mid laner. He, we were both in a different community on Minecraft before this, right? So they all find the team. They're just like, oh yeah, sure, sure, sure. And it turns out their support actually used to be platinum three, I believe it was, and he decayed on to silver, right? Wasn't it diamond? No, he used to be platinum. Okay. But he decayed till silver, and then he found about out about TCS. And he immediately like went, oh yeah, sure, I'll play in this. Um, and signed up as Silver, because he was a Silver right then. And then he started to play Ranked again. And he um, got up to like, Gold within like a <coughs> day or two. And then like was in Platinum, and then was in Diamond. And uh, my team, Panty Drop and Pendus, actually scrimmed against Ohanami Family Gaming twice. During the time when he was climbing. <coughs> and... So we do like best of fives and best of threes. We don't do best of two scrims because we just thought the best of five and best of threes are better for all in general. But they've only ever taken one game off of us, which I thought was more my fault rather than the bot lane's fault. Like generally, our bot lane beats their ass quite handily. <laughs> yeah, we do that. <laughs> like Gally's an amazing AD carry. Not to strub his Thanks. ego. Not not to like rub his own ego. I'll rub someone else of his later. But you know. I mean, I only have one person to thank that I do so great in the bot lane, and that is definitely yeah, Wreck or mid laner. He's so good. <laughs> nah, I think. <laughs> I know, support more. sucks. Our support is just shit. Yeah. He doesn't do anything like. Pretty much. Okay. But back I to our home means family gaming, right? Yeah. Um, we I, played. Yeah, yeah as Gaffer said, we played against like a couple of scrims, and bottling went actually pretty even. I mean, my support is obviously pretty fucking good, to be honest, but most of the times we, I mean, we won the lane every single time, but it wasn't like, oh, we just, we just walk over them, they actually, it was actually kind of a, a challenge. Mm. But in the end, we ended up winning the game, mm. uh, aims, because of several. So, so, so I don't think the support the fact that he was diamond didn't impact at least me. Other than, I mean, it didn't impact the game very much. It impacted me as the whole "fuck he's diamond" thing. But other than that, it didn't really impact the game in such a way that he carried it. Mm. Sans, what do you think? <clears throat> well, it's like hard to say because the whole about Tia and things is so hard to dist distinguish because. You can be platinum but still play like a silver in my opinion, like, there are some silvers that play really good and it, it, like, vice versa, so, like, <clears throat> you could be diamond and s still, like, suit the silver bronze league, but the thing is that we, the whole league was made on, on, on the, the tier, so they, that should be uphold and upheld. And if he's like, if if I was decaying, I would have written what I what I was before I decayed, and maybe asked if if I was platinum and had decayed to silver, I would have have asked to maybe be placed in a gold league because it's like right between. Mm. So so you get so so you like you're not playing against people that are too like much better than you because you haven't played and you're not playing against people that are m worse than you because you just got better game experience mm. but that's just my opinion like 
I, I don't know if if he hasn't played like in a year, then it would be fine. But like next season, I'm not sure like how it's gonna go. If you, if I get to, yeah, yeah. It, it, Mask, what are your thoughts on them? I think, uh, I think this kind of situation, like this particular one, like you know, it's kind of hard to distinguish to set up a specific rule. I think because there's so many situations where it should go one way, which should go another way. It's not clear. But the problem, I think, the biggest main problem is that, you know, ignoring it will set up a bad, a bad precedent. Will set up a bad original case for when similar things happen. If they just would have let it pass and say. Okay, but like they already had a team. For example, then you would have could possibly have abuse cases the next season. Very well, it will be mm. very possible. And I think, from what I gathered, I think um, the charging has done it quite well because I think they did they do anything about it. Um, charging Conflex in his post said that what he wants to do is he actually just wants to let the team be. Okay, I think I think it can work for this situation. I I do think, however, they should have should set up a precedent. Uh, you know, set up if this happens again, it's not sure that we're gonna be as nice on it because you know it can be abused. Mm -hmm. In this case, it seems like it wasn't malicious. They didn't do it in intent, uh, but who knows? It may very well happen, and mm -hmm. it's a sticky situation overall. Personally, I think they should be, um, like, this is just my view on the subject. I've already stated my views on the subject, but I'll, I'll say them here again. I personally think he should be allowed to play, but I think there should be a compensation. Now, there are two different um, ideas I'm toying with in my head of, like, being um, thingy. There's actually three. I've actually just thought of another Can one. Can I play Psychic? Go on. One of, one of them may be similar to one in the Platinum and Diamond Leagues, I assume. Yep, that was the one I actually said on the subreddit. I actually said that they should be deducted 1.5 mm -hmm. points total from their entire score across the season because I think like that's fair. My second is that he should not be able to play Sona, which is his main champion. Yeah, that makes sense. That's it. That makes sense to me as well, yeah. Right, and then third is, um, this might be a bit of a weird one, they lose a ban every game. Okay. Can, can't they just only lose a band? I think it's like it, it, it's a little too much mm. because if pe if people want to ban the, their Sona, if they know his main is Sona, they can just like the, the the good thing about knowing that they got one key player is you can just ban him out. Ban him out if you know that you can win all the other lanes. <laughs> like you can just ban his Sona and. Yeah, just trash all the other lanes and let the so like let him maybe play a little better than the bot lane, but still, like it. it this from my experience playing together with just my friends, and we had like one very good player, it it never made a <clears throat> difference. It's always the weakest link that is gonna define how good the team is, in my opinion. Unless you got like five, four <laughs> diamonds and one bronze, then it doesn't really matter. Yeah, but that's gonna be like high diamond level. Let's be fair. So, Gally, do you wanna jump in on any of this? Anything you wanna say about the top? Anything more? Um. Well, I mean, he wasn't even that good in my opinion on Sona. <laughs> I'm not trying to say he's bad. I mean, he's definitely good on Sona, but after all, I mean, it's Sona. It's not a whole lot I can say other than that, I honestly. I AP Sona in the mid yesterday, wasn't it? <clears throat> yeah, I mean, AP Sona is fucking strong, but the thing is... He, yeah, he played Sona, but I don't remember who my support played back then. But, I mean, it's not like he... And as I said before, he didn't really impact him, even on Sona, even though he played it, like, at least twice mm. out of the three games he played. Mm. So I don't... I don't really... Mm. I don't really care if he keeps playing, honestly. Like, I'm not worried about him at all. And us telling everyone that his main is Sona, like, shouldn't be seen as an advantage that we've just given to everybody else in the Silver League. Like, but that's just stupid. <coughs> right? <laughs> so, I feel like we've talked about that topic enough. Next topic I want to talk about, pre-season <coughs> changes uh, that are going to impact the TCS. Because as we all know, 
preseason. I'm pretty sure it's coming up like within the next few weeks, and it's very likely. Yeah, 420 patch. patch blazing it every day. Darien would be proud. So, because you know we've not com we've completely not <laughs> recorded a different episode of this, and then lost the recording, and then have to record a different episode with slightly different guests. <laughs> what kind of a bad host would I be, right? Um, no, just to be sure, can you check that you're actually only <laughs> right now, please? <laughs> <laughs> I promise I've got a different recording software. I'm recording. We've been recording for 20 minutes and 30 seconds. Okay, good. <laughs> Inside joke. Um, I've recorded this already, and uh, Mask and Sans weren't here, and it was actually Prof Ghost, and um, I've forgotten who the guy. It was Luca from Italy. Yeah. I, I'm going on my Twitter right now. I'm gonna disclaim. I, I'm not on this thing. It's not me. <laughs> it's actually Luca. It's act yeah. So we recorded it, and then mm. I realized, oh, sh uh, well, I, I never oh. pressed record. <laughs> so yeah, that was the 45 yes. minute episode down the drain. And uh, Gally is very mad at me because he was also on that show, but he's come back. Yeah, but I'm here now. And, uh, <laughs> We're both in synergy between the top and bot lane. Yeah. It's nice to know that when I'm seven and zero, you're zero and three, and just crying. It's over okay though, because I'm not. I'll be useful late game. What was That's what yeah. you always say. So, hey. so about, I say so. So yeah, preseason. Pre yeah. <laughs> a lot of stuff is changing in the jungle, and uh, mask. I believe you're a jungle main. I'm, yeah, pretty much. I'm. I'm the main, I'm the jungler for our team, and it's one of my me. I'm I'm I mean everything except for support. Like I'm platinum at most things. There's some champion are like kind of diamond level, and then we have support. Which like if I would only have to play support, I would be bronze five by now. Like I wouldn't be fucking in in season one. I would be unranked if I only play support. But um, the priests are changes to a jungle. Um, I I don't know what I should say. Like I I like them how how it's going. You know they're going to be a little more strategical, uh, as if jungle wasn't strategical uh, strategical enough already. You'll have to play 100% by mind pretty much. Like the amount of mechanical skill will matter much less I think uh, for junglers uh, than it already does. Uh, especially with like for example the junglers like Lee Sin will be of course I think they'll be strong. They will be weaker. Um, the the thing I'm actually worried about is I love the uh, you know strategical play in the jungle, but I don't think that's really what I'm the best at at the moment always. So uh, can it can backfire? I think it'll be interesting to see how it um, well influences everything, solo queue, pro games, and like things like TCS, mm. uh, you know, amateur leagues. Uh, I think the most important thing. Pretty much um, in a couple of weeks, and 420 uh, hits uh, will be how well every jungle jungler and every team adapts to new changes, mm -hmm. and especially focusing on dragon, yeah, having dragon much control. more control over dragon than you already have because it will be brutal if you fall behind. Mm. So, um, Sam, <clears throat> what do you think of the preseason? What do you think is going to go on? Uh. I think there's going to be so many misplays in the jungle early on. Like, it, 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 like I, I'm glad I'm not the jungler because, like, I would like I wouldn't be surprised if someone just straight out died to red buff or something like that, just randomly because he didn't know what to do. Everyone plays Maybe not Warwick. Red. Yeah, yeah, just. I wouldn't be surprised yeah. if um, we saw a, a, a return of um, A, Warwick, and B, Rumble. No, <laughs> Nocturne <laughs> seems to... Rumble? Wait, 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 Not in the jungle, I'm talking pop top lane. But, but he's already okay. back oh. to top. No, I'd, he's going to be much more prevalent, I think. Oh, Silver. <laughs> not being, yeah, not being like... I'm not, I'm not like I think... Is I honestly like, think... Oh, that in the preseason, and this is only in the preseason, after the next patch, of the patch 420, I think Maokai and Bran will be number one picks in every elo. Maokai and <laughs> Bran? Bran or Bran? Bran, Maokai, and maybe Warwick, just because of Darian. Okay, why Bran? Because yeah, Blaze it. Brand. <laughs> 
That was bad. That was bad. Oh. That was really oh, bad. No. That was easy. You forgot Danny. Yeah. I forgot who? Annie. No, Annie and Sarah. Annie and Sarah. What the fuck, man? I, I, I think that it's... It's okay. <laughs> Annie's in my top lane. Step it up. It's Ooh. gonna be about like control, so I think that's going to be a lot more like... It's gonna be TB top lane with like something like Rumble or Maokai that can oh, really no. just... So the same thing? No, yes. <laughs> yeah, but like... Actually, top lane teleporting down to get a dragon and not just being like because if you, I, I don't think that you can afford to wait with your t teleport and with the new dragon. You need to like <laughs> fully commit to it and kill it or just not do it. Mm. It it seems that way, uh, it's, especially if like four other people from the other team also is like trying to contest the dragon. It's it's about the one that first pulls the trigger and just teleports down and try to either fight them or take the dragon. Mm. I think there'll be, I think, actually I think there'll be two, like one big change, not that big of a change, but I think Nuna will be much, a, better, a much better pick than he already is. Like Nuna's already a good pick, however I think he'll be fantastic, you know, for the dragon control. I think, not in pro play, not even uh, high elo, but I think we may see uh, Shogaf jungle come back in pubs and low elo. Just because of Feast and the control on Dragon. What? You know, like, I think in oh, low yes. elo and in pubs, you know, normal games, I think Shogaf jungle could work with, because he has the sustain, he has the tankiness, he clears pre okay, and he has the Dragon control. So that's something I could see in normal games and mm -hmm. lower elos, like, even up to Platinum, to be honest, if someone has played him before. I don't think people will rush and pick him up, but people has played since, like, Season 2 when he was uh, a good pick and who's like, oh, I want to play him again. I think it'll be possible. It'll be an okay pick, I think. Another thing about Cho'Gaf is his AoE silence <laughs> is not some... A silence these days is just not something you see that often. Riot's been trying to get rid of a lot of silences in the game, and that's because it can impact a teamfight so heavily if you manage to get it down to that uh, AP Mage caster. Yeah, it's quite ironic that they actually, like... They removed silence from Talon and... Uh, LeBlanc. Yeah, LeBlanc, and then just give Cassidy. Soraka a, a, a AoE fucking... <laughs> Silence. That's so dumb. And the root. Don't but, forget, it's a root too. Yeah, yeah, it's a root too. Like you can't. If they made it so you could flash out of that shit, but you can't even flash out of that shit. Like it's so. Like there's so many times where I just press B yeah. e, like ten times and nothing happens, and I was like, oh, I'm standing on Soraka's E. That was nice. And now then you realize it's Soraka. Really nice. Soraka's pretty. <laughs> Soraka's pretty broken right now. I mean, AoE, Silence, and Root. I heal that with just one point. It has a three second cooldown. And then an AoE Q that heals her. <clears throat> like, sure, she can't heal herself, but she doesn't give a fuck <laughs> anymore. I mean, uh, she, she... <laughs> and this is why you play um, Soraka mid lane? No, 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 no. no <laughs> with no, all no. of the damage she has now, yeah. No, I, no. I I played the <coughs> Soraka top lane and that, it, she was horrible. <sighs> Me and Gally get ready to explain the comp that's in okay. Soraka mid. Listen, listen up, listen up. Okay, so... You have a Soraka mid lane, right? She just goes AP and tank-ish. Nami support. Okay. Nami support. Sounds good. A random jungler. I'll just say listen. And then, I don't know. Vayne, Lucian, Ezreal, <laughs> and then on top lane... <laughs> you have Nar, because Nar is the best champion in the game. Exactly, so the, basically the thing is Nami and <coughs> Soraka. Nami? <laughs> we, we could actually maybe see a resurgence in Yasuo just to get like a wombo combo in like skirmishes around Dragon 2, I think. Yeah. I think people will try and just go for Wombo combos, like, just to try and, like, because when you get that first dragon, it seems like you snowball a lot more than before. Oh, yeah. 
Dragons are going to be really important. I feel like teams will be um, much more dissuaded to go in for tights, fights, tights. <laughs> I, feel, I feel like they'll be uh, much dissuaded to go into the Summoner's Rift in tights as well, like, you know, showing off them legs. But no, show, uh, because of the attack damage boost. Like, if you're behind in Dragons, you're behind in power. You're not behind in gold, but you're massively behind in power. Yeah. yeah. So I don't know how big it is, though. If you it's lose fine. a dragon, and that, like, like the thing about dragon is, you can lose a dragon, and then you can be like, oh, they're low because they took dragon, but they just got a boost in like, like before you got the gold and you didn't get like the instant buff or what you can call <laughs> it. But now they kill a dragon and they can actually fight right after, so they can ah. take dragon and just invade your jungle and pretty much get a power spike on that I think it's, it's not that it's not big enough to be overwhelming until like the thing the, the reason I think you'll have to be careful about is because it'll be able to snowball you afterwards you won't be able to go into the jungle afterwards you know it's not that big of a boost it's not bad enough uh, however especially the fifth one if you have five stacks of it it's really strong it's like 72 damage per second on everything you do every time you do damage or something it's something extremely broken that doubles all the stats you already have yeah so it's like the fifth one that you don't you, you don't you you're not careful about dragon because you'll be afraid that they come out with five extra ad and take you down because of that uh, you won't care about dragon because if they get five dragons then you're then they can steamroll you like yeah. The amount of power they get from fire dragons. You just have to prevent that. And if you let them take one, you think that's okay. You let them take two, well, we can try a turret. But you're just letting a taking time bomb go off. So it's not the direct impact. It's what can happen. In what's hap and it's what happens in the long term. I think the reason yeah. Riot have done the whole five stacking thing, though, is think of how long it'll take you to get five stacks on that dragon buff. 25 minutes. I think Absolute that... minimum. Si yeah. No. It, 30 minutes. No, 30, 30, oh fuck. <laughs> yeah, I, I think jungler, it's kinda... best jungler ever. I played 3v3, three three. Varma is fucking 5 minutes, okay? I have, oh, a, I I have an excuse. But, I have an excuse. Varma buff is so weak. Like, it's... That's not what we're talking about. We just had an excuse. Let's talk about freeze. It was, it was my excuse, okay? It was just my excuse, okay? It's 5 minutes uh, on the two okay. death timer, so... Like, but, but I, I'm not sure, I haven't played on the PvE, so, <laughs> and I don't want to play Udia, but can, can you actually go Udia, like, the like Guardia, and just solo the dragon anymore, or is that dead? Apparently it's dead. I think okay. it's dead. Yeah, like, you that... can't solo it, but you can't do it the same way. You'll have to get your upgrade item, and probably, uh, what was his name? The, the thing that pretty much um, replaces uh, Ferroflare. You'll have to get that yeah. for the so However, that I, that enchantment will be ridiculously strong. It starts Real. at like 40 or 60 max damage, I don't remember, but then it scales one flat on champions and on minions and monsters. One flat for big, uh, large camp kills and two plus for assists and kills. Like, if you snowball and you have that item on God and Ude or Master Yi, you'll just be able to tear through teams. Like and This is why you go uh, out. Master E plus four sports. Warwick as well. Warwick, Warwick will be even like at the moment. Warwick is kind of he's quite strong. I won't say Warwick is weak. But he's, the the biggest problem with Warwick is he's frustrating to play against. Right? You can all agree. Warwick is kind of not fun to play versus. Yeah. You get Unless you have a freshman team though. Yeah, but you, like you get ulted and they're mid lane and jumps you, you're dead. Uh, now imagine Warwick with wits and and devour. So he has like. 100 magic damage per uh, tick on his ulti, he reduces mag resistance, he has the base damage of it, he has more damage. He'll just insta-kill squishies. He'll... And this will be hilarious, because Warwick is amazing. <laughs> well, do, do you guys think that it's gonna be much more stompy? Like, someone gets a lead and yeah. just stomps, mm. or it's gonna Probably. be... If they know how to play, right? Yeah. It's not a gonna be the game of Rose at Baron and Dragon. No. I think if you play right it will be I, I think it'll be it finished, but I think if you really throw, they you know, your team has more ways to get back if the opponent throws hard. Mm. I think. 
Especially with, you know, the min minion buffs and Baron. Like, if you're behind, but you get the nace and you get a Baron, you'll be able to just go one people into you every lane, three in mid lane, one bot on top, and just destroy their base. Like, your minions will be destroying turrets, like... Siege turrets, right? Uh, yeah. Siege turrets. Like, um, siege turrets, yeah, if she... you have Baron buff, they outrange the actual inhib turrets. <laughs> Which Wait, I find hilarious. The Siege Minus outrange the towers? Yes. If you have Baron buff. Yes. Wow. And you're standing next to them. That's cool, but at the same time, <laughs> it's not. Yeah, because they won't be able to tank. <laughs> exactly. But they, you're missing... You, no, 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 you don't see. You, do you want to know what the Baron buff gives to melee creeps? They take 80% uh, less damage from turrets. Yeah. They will tank okay. 10 turret shots each. Okay, that make okay, that makes more sense. Is it applied to super minions too? That, that sounds like uh, Baron is just gonna yeah. be the place. Like it's gonna be like if someone if 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 you're behind and you see <laughs> like the AD carry and bot lane, you're just gonna rush the Baron and hope that you get it. Then yeah, rush Seems. Baron stands top lane, <gasps> guys. Right, new meta. Stay, stay with me here. Stay with me here. Teemo tank. Right? I Can I just that leave the call right now? No, no, guys, because <laughs> listen, listen. You get the Baron buff on Teemo. Teemo then stands invisible next to where the um the minions will be, and uh, they can't find Teemo. Oh yeah. Now we only need when you can stack the Sunfire Capes, like in the old days where you just went oh, Evelyn oh. full full Sunfire Cape and gave 400 damage every Twitch. second. Evelyn and Twitch. That oh. was that was brilliant. I loved it. And I, I, I had a Malstar that didn't know it, and he just stood there and was like, why do I, do I take damage? And then suddenly <laughs> Evelyn just killed him. And then it's just like... Why the fuck are all these minions like taking ten tower shot? Oh shit, that's a twitch in my face. Yeah, like it's gonna be <laughs> so much more stealthy and teleport. Thingy. Gally had the biggest smile. I, I I think it's gonna be much more about the whole map map movement and such more than it has been before. <laughs> like you you need to be able to control your minion waves perfectly to be able to get like. Yeah, win. Alright. Well, I'm actually going to say that's our last topic for today. I know it's been fairly short. It's only going to end up being about 40 minutes, guys. Right, but as I do with every episode, and well, I've only done it one episode time, but do any of you, I'm going to go from left to right, so Sans, Mask, and Gally, do any of you have any shout outs to uh, people on your team, perhaps, people in the community, <laughs> stuff like that? Uh, okay. Sans, you first. Do you have any shout outs? Yeah. Anymore? Thank you, as you want to say. Shout out to my captain, David. Please don't bench me. <laughs> Not yet. Uh, Not yet. In, in a few weeks, <clears throat> maybe. Yeah. Shout out to my team for being awesome. And sucking balls. And uh, to your jungle is into this. Yeah, fuck him. That, that's our <laughs> captain, though. But <laughs> Captain is awesome. <isn't> <laughs> God's sake. <laughs> Mask, what about you, man? Any shout outs? Um, shouts to my team, pretty much. Um, I mean, I'm the worst player on the team, so they're carrying my ass at the moment. Uh, shout outs to Charging, Naivim, all of the moderators, because as you said earlier, I think they're doing the best they can. They're learn we're learning, they are learning, Everyone is everyone's learning at the moment. They're doing the best they can, and I'm really happy with how they do. I would say shout outs to Tempered Chickens. They did stomp us, but they were they were cool sports about it. They were chill. Uh, we had a lot of fun and it was a, good, a couple of good games. Mm. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> I'd like to um, shout out to my team. Uh, my support, Kaprioska. You're a cool man. Uh, our top laner, Gaffer. They're pretty fucking cool too. Or Melee Norek, he's cool too. Bram, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> you can find me on Twitter at Galley the Unicorn and in League of Legends in the game at Galley the Unicorn as well. Damn jungle and never going bot lane. I know, right. right? 
Well, guys, uh, this is on the TCS something inside channel. Most of you have probably come here from the Reddit. My YouTube username will be in the description <clears> below. Over there, I've been posting my Persona 4 series, which I've been slacking on. Me to get back onto that. I've also been po posting some TCS matches that I've been shoutcasting over. A few of them with my jungler Bram, uh, which uh, Gally hates. Um, also. My shout outs obviously <coughs> to my team. They are amazing, uh, good friends I've found to my team. Um, then to all the mods for making it happen. I'm sure I said that last week, but they should always be thanked in my opinion. Uh, to all the other shoutcasters, because I know shoutcasting has been hard, and I know it's been um, it's been tough because we did see a few posts hating on the shoutcasters, but for overall it's been some very well received. And a shout out to all of you watching this. Out all the players in TCS, it's been some amazing games so far, and I'm looking forward to another six weeks of very good games. Any last points, anyone? Uh, good luck to everyone. Good luck to everyone playing, and look out, for, look out for my team spotlight. You're going to get team me on, please. Well, guys, this has been something insight. I've been Gaffer Cake. You've been awesome. See ya. <laughs>